the reason why I even started this channel, guys, is, is there's there's a specific reason. I see a lot of these. And I want to talk about these boxes here for a second. Okay. I just want to talk about them. You may use them. And if you're using them for the proper reason, then I don't have a problem. But most people don't. Most people use these boxes. I call them manipulation boxes. In all reality, what they're used to, to do is actually measure your move on TradingView, right? If I'm thinking that price is going to shoot to this area, you know, and I want to put my stop loss in a certain area, I can get an, an idea of, you know, what my P&L may be, what my risk to reward ratio may be just by using this box. But what I see a lot of guys doing is using this box as proof that they've won a trade. I got a problem with that. I have a major problem with that. And, and the way that they cover it up is they say, oh, well, you know, I don't know any other way to, to do this. I don't know any other way to explain this to people. Guys, here's the other way. Check this out. It's called paper trading. OK. And just this morning, as I was making little other cuts for this video, you know what? I took a trade. It was an example, right? That in order for you to really show people how to do things, you need to push the button. People need to see p l People need to see account balance go up or down. OK, I started with 100K. I just took three minutes, made five dollars and 20 cents. Not even I made this in like 20 seconds. OK, but the reason why I was able to do it is because I pushed a button. I don't see these guys pushing buttons. I don't see these gurus pushing buttons. I see them pulling up these boxes. I see them drawing a ton of trend lines and giving you a ton of different calls, but they never show you something as simple as a paper trade. And anybody can access this, right? Anybody, literally me, you, anybody can go on to trading view, get an account, set up paper trading and practice. This is how I practice. These guys won't even show you their practice, <laughs> right? Because they don't do this. They pull up these boxes and they make you think that they are some kind of expert trader. Now, I'm not calling anyone out specifically. What I'm really trying to do is say, guys, we need to do better. If this is our community, right? If, if your family is involved in crypto and you're showing them how to do something and you pull out this box, you know it. You know it if you're a creator. This box is nonsense. You know it because you know you can very easily manipulate this box. Let me show you how easy it is to manipulate this box. Let's just go to some clean price action and, and find something here. I'll just go to the daily chart and let's just go to the area price action, right? And this is, I'm going to show you what these guys usually do because it's sick, man. It really is sick. They'll pull up a box. Let's, let's, take, a, let's take a long position. All right. And boom. Bro. You should have been there. I had the perfect trade. I had the perfect trade, bro. I promise. Once I saw price breaking out this, I put the long on and boom. I made $4,192. This is where my stop loss was. Moment of silence for you. You deserve it, guy. You definitely do. Because this box right here does not translate to this this matters this doesn't it doesn't and i'm just going to be real if you see somebody pulling this out they are finagling you ask to see the pnl ask a billion times if they don't show you they're finagling you they don't know how to trade they know how to place this box and talk about what should have happened based on theory but no execution. We're here to show you execution. Again, I'm going to keep throwing this in your face. I'm just going to keep doing it. Keep throwing this in your face. So you know that this matters. Okay, guys? I don't mean to be an asshole about it, but it matters. If you're learning from someone in this market, that matters. Okay? That matters. And that's why we're showing it. That's why we're putting these levels on and drawing these things out so that you can understand what you're looking at. Not just trend lines and all of this other stuff. We're showing you what we're looking at, right? We're showing you the areas of liquidity that price is trapped between, that it won't break out of. 
And we're telling you what it has to do before it breaks out. That's where these arrows come from. All right, the short and the long. Actually, go to that example. This is a brand new paper trading account. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up, folks, is because we're going to show you the history. Okay, this doesn't get you anywhere. You want to know what gets you somewhere? Pushing a button. You want to watch me push a button? Check it out. This is how I would analyze price in five minutes. Breaking down, breaking down, breaking down, breaking down. Everything's in the consolidation at this point. So if I'm at the bottom of the consolidation point, let's see. Flow into the 15 minute. Zoom out for a better perspective. Yes, sir. Everything's moving lower. So in my opinion, price is going to continue to push a little bit lower. Why? Hasn't balanced area to clear out here and here. So if I want to take a short, I'm going to take a short by hitting the paper trading button. Okay. Now I don't want to bet a whole bunch of nothing on this because this is, you know, <laughs> this is essentially starting off my paper trading account again. And I'm not going to take a major risk. But just to show you guys an example, when you enter in, you're going to see this little red arrow there. Okay. That little red arrow matters if you're a mentor. That little red arrow matters if you're a teacher. It matters. You guys want to say it doesn't. It does. Okay. It matters a lot more than this crap. Okay. Because what you're doing is you're showing people execution points. I'm getting in here at this reason because of that. Right. I gave you guys a five minute breakdown. Price is falling, fell into a consolidation. There's areas of liquidity that it needs to clear out at the bottom. I'm going short right there. I pushed the button right there. You see the red arrow right there. Did I use this box? I would never use this box. OK. I would never use this box. And I'm going to go ahead and take my five dollar cents and 20 profit. OK. I'm closing my position. This is what you need to do. If you're a trader, if you're showing people on the chart how to do something and you're telling them positions to go in and out at, OK, the least you can do, the least you can do as a mentor for these people, the least you can do as a as a friend to your community is push a button. So unless you're seeing these, unless you're seeing the play actually be made, just understand you have a better place to go. You have a, a place to come. Come on home. You got a place to come for us to show you how this really works within these ranges, even as prices going on rallies, guys, and prices falling. We're going to make money in the bear market. We will because we're going to be taking shorts all day. Right. And we're going to make money in the bull market and we're going to make money in ranges. We're going to make money no matter what price does. That's the goal of this channel. Doesn't matter if it goes up. Doesn't matter if it goes down. We will be in the market to capitalize on the dumb money because we play like smart money. We do things like smart money. That's how you become a good trader. And that's what I'm here to kind of help facilitate with the audience and the crypto community as a whole, because there's a gap here. There's a gap here. And I think I can fill some of that gap. And again, I'm not here to down anybody, but guys, come on, we can do better. We can really do better than this box here. All right, we can do better than this box, guys. We really can. All right.